call the January 9, 2017 USD 350 Board of Education meeting to order. Uh, welcome, Kristen Kara. Any additions or changes to the agenda? Nope. Entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Move and second the board approve the agenda as presented. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 5 0. The consent agenda is in front of you. I have nothing unusual to report about the consent agenda. Pretty straightforward. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Move and second the board approve the consent agenda as presented. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 5 0. Are there any patron comments this evening? Well, we'll move on to the business agenda. First up, board member term resolution. Um, if you recall, the, in, in 2015, the legislature changed the way we do our uh, local municipality elections. Uh, instead of being elected in April and taking over in July, be elected in November and take over in January. Well, what that's done is it really extended the term for a few folks. So in your uh, packet, there's a resolution. <clears throat> I'll read it aloud here. Be it resolved that the Board of Education of the United, uh, Unified School District Number 350, Stafford County, Kansas, hereby extends the term of office for any elected board member whose term would expire at any time in 2017 until the second Monday in January of 2018, when newly elected members of the governing body and other newly elected officials shall take office pursuant to that statute. So the law is what it is. It's uh, just this is just that when you were elected, you were elected until July. Uh, so the law changed since then. This is just the board recognizing that the law has changed. I believe we would do uh, officer elections in January. Um, how we transition? Do we do them in July and then follow up in January? I don't know the answer to that. So, okay. um, whether we continue them for you know a year and a half, or whether we just have elections uh, twice in one year, I'm not sure. But, uh, KSB sure would give you some guidance there. Yeah, yeah. I, if I remember right, that's the way you'd do that in January, but yeah, the transition, I'm not sure about. Okay. So everyone that's currently serving has a get some extra six months on your term. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. Is it just our positions that are up? Who else is? Carl? Uh, well, Actually, the There's three that the three that are coming up is uh, Barb, Carl, and Vance. Oh, okay. And then the other four were. You were really recently okay. elected. That's right. So. Mm -hmm. so now it'll expire in the even year. And you serve uh, through December, I guess. January will be the first meeting for the new board. Any questions? Entertain a motion. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, I move the board approve resolution number 2017-12 as presented. Okay. Moved and seconded. The board approved resolution 2017-12 as presented. <clears throat> is there any discussion? Probably one of the most important issues that might have to be dealt with with this is who gets the Midwinter Classic tickets. <laughs> <laughs> is it the new board member or the outgoing <laughs> board member? <laughs> well, it's the outgoing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there any further discussion? About all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried, 5 0. Item number two, board policy updates. Uh, you have two documents there. One is, uh, is the policy updates with edits included. Um, you see the red. The red edits, um, and then the other one is the final draft, the clean version. Um, one of those policies is new policy 
and you know, EE it corresponds with our current food service collection policy or account policy. Uh, just spells out how much people can charge on their account without making it right. And, uh, we have that all outlined. It fits well with what KSB recommends, but we already had that in place before we really needed to. So um, I'd go into any detail you you'd like, um, but uh, you have the draft there that I would recommend, our attorneys would recommend. So most of it's uh, legal changes that are required to fit with uh, new law, federal law, the one replacement child left behind. A lot of it relates to that. Any other questions for Mr. Meyer? Okay. Mr. President, I made the board approve the board policy updates as presented. Second. So moved and seconded. The board approved the board policy updates as presented. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 5 0. And we uh, update those policies uh, in an online form. We're required to keep every version of policies that we have. So um, we have one hard copy book. We take the old policy and throw it in the trash and put the new policy in. So the old policies that we, that we have are online. So there will be our current policy and then there will be a new document for that one. So we always have a record of the old policies at any particular time online. So we don't keep a hard copy of old policies. It's all done electronically. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, communications, board member activities and reports. <coughs> Barry? Nothing this time. No any events? Barb? Well, I didn't get to report on the um, state meeting, and it was an interesting meeting. I Some of the things you hear have heard before you you know through different activities and stuff you know the teachers are learning some of this that they brought up but some of them it's good to, to hear and to know what other schools are doing so um, they say it was one of the shortest meetings so I don't know if you reported that or not I don't know how accurate that is but they were advertising it that way so <laughs> it shows you it went pretty smooth but other than that going to the activities foundation. We haven't had a meeting since um, I think we reported on the last one. So mm -hmm. working on a some fundraiser for the foundation, hopefully during the Jubilee. So gotta get that off the ground. Okay. Great. Thank you. Carl. Um I just it's not a school event, but the prom parent tournament was last weekend. Um, it went off very well. I'd like to thank Trish Wade, our tournament director. She did a fantastic job. So, um, administrative reports, Mr. Meyer. Uh, Mr. Olive is over in Stafford at the ball game tonight, so uh, give his his report. Uh, our junior high Chromebooks and cases we have those in. Uh, they're working on getting those uh, deployed to the uh, to the junior high area. Um, forensics is new this year. Mrs. McAllister had a lot of interest in, uh, uh, from the kids in doing that. She has an interest in that, so we told her to get some kids together and we'll try it for a year and see if there's uh, positive interest. So that may be something we need to look at making that a paid position in the future. They've got some uh, competition scheduled. So. How many kids are in there? I don't know the answer to that. Also, um, when I was in high school, my senior year, I took speech and forensics instead of English for. Does she have a, any degree in speech or to be able to do something like that instead of um, English for? I don't. I don't. I don't know that we can uh, offer that. Uh, to go to college, I know you have to have English for. Uh, they must change that. Yeah, they did. At some point, that Board changed. 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 Yeah, yeah. So a lot of schools went away from that. That's kind of a shame. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and this is uh, 
tournaments coming up and basketball's well underway. Something about every night. Uh, staff development on Monday. Uh, we're going to have our English language arts teachers looking at uh, new textbooks, uh, resources, and uh, they're going to be planning their career day and uh, community service day. So those are two days we started here in the recent past. They're going to continue to do that. So planning that a bit. And then on uh, my report, uh, I did want to start off with uh, the medical situation from Friday night. Um, as you know, we had uh, uh, an individual uh, have a heart issue, uh, uh, had stopped the game and uh, sent the teams to the locker rooms. And, uh, we have two uh, defibrillators on, on site and uh, they couldn't get either one to work. Um, uh, why, I don't know. We're looking into that. Uh, we've got a sales rep coming tomorrow. It's going to take the devices and get into the company and take a look at what you know, tell us what what went wrong there. Um, you know, we check them almost monthly. Uh, Lisa does that. And we had all staff training on the devices CPR and the AED use in uh, September. Uh, so we we've think we're doing our best with that, but uh, they didn't work. So it's obviously a concern and folks want to know what, what are we doing to fix it. So again, we're going to send them off to the manufacturer. And we'll continue our staff training as needed. And, uh, so it was a tough deal. And, uh, on our end, I feel horrible that the devices didn't work, but we're able to get them revived for a period of time. So I feel better about that. But. So that's what I had on that issue. Um, English language arts textbooks, our resources are, are well out of date. We need to update those. Um, uh, we're probably looking at an expenditure of you know, close to $20,000 K-12 uh, for that. Um, uh, looking at several different avenues. Uh, you know, we've got the devices, our elementary math, we do a lot with online there, you know, they have a book, but they also have some resources online, so, um, anyway, we'll be looking at that, uh, uh, mentioned in the, the staff development in Mr. Olive's report, that's kind of our plan for Monday, and uh, next month our staff will be going to Lyons with several area school districts to hear Dr. Marcia Tate, um, she wrote a book called Worksheets Don't Grow Dendrites, um, brain research, um, uh, good stuff. So I think her fee is $9,000 maybe, so something that we could never get uh, here, but by cooperating with area schools, we can do that. So we'll be doing that in February. Uh, district leadership team and site council, we're going to be meeting soon, so if you all have any input you'd like me to get from them, of course, the random drug testing, uh, we'll be talking about that. And, uh, uh, so if there's any anything else you'd like input on, uh, let me know. Uh, preschool, uh, our situation with our preschool, we're very fortunate. We can offer preschool to every kid in the district uh, free of charge. Um, I, I don't know how long we can continue that. Our IEP count, the number of special ed kids is pretty low. When the special ed is funding that, that's something they look at as hey, we're kind of footing the bill for this. Um, it's really a regular ed issue. Uh, so we may, uh, one thing we've considered is do we charge, charge students to be there. I want every four year old and every three year old in preschool that wants to be. Uh, but the priority is those four-year-olds. We need them in there. Um, you know, they're more successful uh, in kindergarten. We spend a lot less time and energy bringing them up to speed if we can get them in preschool. Uh, so I don't have a uh, solution for you right now, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that it's an issue we need to look at. And, uh, our goal is to have two teachers there we can do that. Uh, Are you saying as early as next fall? Mm -hmm.
Has the yeah. co-op said anything? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. There's yeah. We we've had uh, not terribly specific discussions, but uh, yeah, we've discussed it some. There's also a licensing issue. Uh, Rocks is working on a waiver. Uh, Ms. Vickers working on a waiver. You have to have a certain uh, certification to do special ed preschool. Uh, and uh, they'll grant a waiver where you can work without the license as long as you're working toward it. This type of license, I think she would have to take something like 32 college credit hours, which is absurd. Uh, and we've talked to the state about perhaps changing that. But uh, that's another issue with that, trying to we need somebody that that has that certification to continue to go through the, the co-op in that regard. But uh, we have been fortunate for some time. We'll do our best to see how that will continue. Uh, paying for preschool is definitely something that's on going to be on the agenda. So, so heads up about that. Um, the sale of the bus and the lights. An old bus sold for uh, 1650, 1650, and our lights didn't bring as much as uh, what the one bid we had. It was only 800, but uh, so I thought we'd get more than that, but we didn't. Uh, so About a couple hundred bucks, but still think Purple Wave is a good way to go. Uh, budget and legis legislative update. I don't have a lot here, but the legislative session started today. Uh, swearing in um, state of the state address tomorrow, so we'll know a little more about what your governor is thinking um, tomorrow. Uh, there's you know hints of positive change with turning things around. Uh, they still have that three hundred forty million dollar hole to fill. That's their priority. I have heard some discussion about the block grant. <coughs> continuing for another year. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. Uh, there's uh, budget holes priority and had two years with this block grant to do something and they've done very little work on it. Uh, very little effort to write a new formula and uh, it takes time to do that. Uh, I think there's going to be too much time devoted to uh, their structural budget imbalance to address the school funding issue right away. So, uh, the random drug testing, I really just left that on there because I want to let you know I'm still thinking about it. I haven't done uh, much research since the last meeting, of course. Yeah, the last meeting not too long ago at the holiday. Uh, Board of Ed Appreciation Month, that's January. You have uh, some notes from kids in the after school program and uh, from the sixth graders. So, they wanted to express their thanks and I want to say thank you for serving and you get phone calls and uh, suggestions and uh, complaints and, uh, and you don't get paid at all except for maybe your your, your tickets to the ball game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for what you do. It's, a, it's an important role you fill. Thank you. You forgot the bottles of water. <laughs> yes, and free water. <laughs> Uh, one other item I didn't have on here is uh, KASB contacted me. They're having a an advocacy um, workshop. They do this every year where they invite school board members and school people to. Um, they talk about working with legislators and then they, they drive to the Capitol and meet with legislators and uh, try to help that communication. Uh, one thing they're going to do is recognize those who have, those legislators who have served on school boards or uh, work in schools, and uh, they're going to recognize Greg Lewis and ask if anybody would be in attendance uh, Thursday night. It's in Topeka. I said that nobody, we didn't plan on sending anybody, and I just can't make it work in my schedule. but. Uh, any of you would like to drive up for that? I think we're going to be busy with yeah. you know, so. It's pretty <laughs> tough to get all the way up there for, for that. But, um, the 
but I did tell them I'd mention it to the board. So that's all I had for my report. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, executive session items tonight. The personnel. Um, yes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes with you included. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, I'm in the board go on the executive session to discuss personnel matters in order to protect the privacy of non elected personnel, with Mr. Meyer being included, and that we return to open session in 20 minutes in this room. Second. Moved and second of the board go into executive session to discuss personal matters in order to protect the privacy of non elected personnel, with Mr. Meyer to be included, and that we return to open session in 20 minutes in this room. All in favor, aye. 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 Close nay. Motion carried 5 0. 17 through 2019 school year. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded to approve Mr. Meyer's contract as presented for the 2017 through 2019 school years. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried by zero. Um, I would uh, recommend that the board uh, approve the <coughs> resignation of Zoe Staub effective at the end of the year for her retirement. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded to uh, approve the Accept the resignation of Zoe Staub, effective at the end of the school year, retirement. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried 5 0. <coughs> and uh, the same thing for Rita Souter. She's decided she wants to retire at the end of the school year, so I recommend we accept her resignation letter. So moved. Second. Moved and second, we accept <coughs> the resignation effective at the end of the school year for Rita Souter. For retirement. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried 5 0. Next. Uh, and one more resignation uh, for Rebecca Brown, uh, food service clerk, uh, effective uh, December 29th. I so move. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept the resignation of Rebecca Brown, effective December 29th. All in favor, aye. 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 Motion carried 5 0. Future agenda items in front of you. Do you have any, uh, anything to say on that? Nope. If you have any uh, input on what you need to do, let me know. But uh, I'm looking at the calendar and the uh, courses and curriculum, including Mr. Oliver's contract. Motion for adjournment. So move. Second. Move and second. We adjourn. All in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carried. Five zero.